How you doing, guys? I noticed something come through the other day. Um, a lot of people, I used to do sauna demos for some older folks. They would come down to, to Orlando from the villages or from Ocala or from different areas. I had the sauna demo room set up in the other room. We had EMF meters, you know, so people could verify things. A lot of the elderly people were fighting chronic conditions and they were looking for infrared saunas to improve you know, various health problems or reduce inflammation of arth arthritis and different things like that. And so one of the things that I used to do, not that I run a sauna facility or anything like that, it can be very difficult to pick out an infrared sauna just based on information that you see online. Every sauna company you call says that theirs is the best. They badmouth every single competitor. You know, there's got to be something wrong with this. You know, the next one will say, oh, you've got to have this type of heaters or you won't have the right emissivity and you won't get a proper detox. Another one will say, oh, you've got to have full spectrum because if you don't have all three wavelengths, you know, yada, 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 you're not really going to get the full <laughs> shebang, <laughs> which is completely bogus, right? Far infrared is the real workhorse in all of the saunas if you're talking about infrared. But I digress. I noticed lately that a lot of people around Florida, different areas, Coconut Creek, Orlando, Jacksonville, Miami, um, even up in the panhandle, are purchasing infrared saunas based on you know my information or on my behalf. Um, what I wanted to do was put out a video. I've gotten a lot of questions uh, from customers lately that say, you know, uh, we really like your videos. We think you're great at, you know, distilling the EMF information and, and poking holes in a lot of the, you know, sauna sales mumbo jumbo or the marketing material that's just smoke and mirrors. Well, I thank you for that. A lot of people are still having a hard time because, you know, they'll go to a local hot tub store or they'll look at stuff that's available in their area. And they get frustrated because then it's a whole different animal, right? You go to a hot tub store, these people, these sales personnel, it's not really their fault. They're not doing this on purpose, but infrared saunas is a very niche specialty, right? And so you're not going to come across the type of information that you're most likely looking for at a hot tub store. So while you might be able to sit in a sauna, see what it feels like, check the quality of the construction and do all these other things that, you know, nobody wants to spend $5,000 without being this, you know, see, feel and touch it, right? But at the same time, those guys are going to say things like, you know, a cell phone has an EMF level of 10 or, or 20 and all of our saunas have less than 10 or something like that, you know, and it's basically just this made up jargon and they don't know any better. They're not really trying to lie to you or mislead you, but you are being lied to and you are being misled. Um, a cell phone emits RF radiation. A sauna emits electric fields and magnetic fields. It's two completely different types of EMF. You would use two different types of meters to measure that. And it's not even in the same stratosphere of being truthful, right? And so one of the things that happens a lot is I do a question of the week and people will email in questions and, you know, I'll get on camera like this to make YouTube videos because it's too much for me to type. And a lot of times people want to see, you know, things in the sauna rooms that I have. So we'll take the camera off the tripod and we'll go in there and I'll demonstrate stuff and I'll actually show them. Or if they have EMF questions, you know, I have all the measuring equipment. We do tutorial videos and I do how-to guides and all that kind of stuff to help people understand what it is that they're trying to you know, accomplish. People have different various health problems and sometimes those health problems require you know, different stipulations. And so a lot of people are just trying to make sure that you know, A, they're not buying the wrong thing, B, they're not spending more money than they have to, and C, that they're getting the right equipment that's truly gonna help them with their situation. And so I've gotta tell you, <laughs> A lot of people that email in and say, hey, I looked at this you know, hot tub store and they have this model number, whatever, what do you think about it? And it's some crazy obscure brand or remanufactured, not remanufactured, but basically like a remake of you know, some popular brand, but it's white labeled or something like that. It's very difficult to get to the bottom of those types of scenarios, right? And it's pretty much gonna be impossible to get the, the type of information that you're wanting. Is it VOC free or is it low VOC? Is it truly low EMF? You know, what's the warranty like outside of the hot tub store? What is the actual company? You know, do they care about their customers? How do they treat them? Are you going to get hounded to death, you know, by people calling you all the time to buy something? You know, all these things, especially the VOC and the EMF, it's very difficult to get that information um, distilled in a way that you can understand or that is actually truthful from a hot tub store or some pool place. Um, that's just not their specialty. And so what I'd like to do is put out a couple of dedicated videos to specific areas. So if you happen to be looking for an infrared sauna in that area, um, or maybe it's a brand that you're curious about, or you were going to send a question into me to check out, I wanted to let you know that all of my sauna reviews and all of my information is available on YouTube and the blog. 
So if you go to cleverleverage.com, which is my personal blog, it's cleverleverage.com, and you just search for infrared sauna reviews, you'll be able to see all the saunas that I bought. I bought Costco saunas, Amazon saunas, I bought popular brands recommended by doctors and health professionals and natu naturopaths or whatever, um, all this stuff. You can see the good ones, you can see the bad ones, you can see the ones I sent back. You can even see the ones like the worst sauna that I've ever purchased, and you can also see the sauna of the year. Alternatively, you could go to certifiedsaunas.com if I ever get it finished, and it maintains something that I call the list of certified saunas. And if you just Google the list of certified saunas, it should pop right up for you. It'll be on my blog, cleverleverage.com and certifiedsaunas.com. But it's basically the top three saunas of the year that are low VOC, low EMF, have been tested by me, and you can actually see on live video on YouTube. I go through everything. I show you what the saunas are like, how to put them together. It's me receiving them in a garage. This is not some, you know, made up thing where somebody sits in front of their computer and just, uh, you know, points things out from the company website. This is me buying them, receiving them from a semi truck or a box truck, unpackaging them, dragging them inside, putting them together. I film the whole thing. We check them out with EMF meters. I use them for a few weeks. I usually do user guides to teach you how to use the control panel if it's a complicated one or you know an LCD touchscreen or something like that. But anyway, just wanted to put out some you know information for the Florida folks. I live in Orlando. If you happen to be close by, I'll have the demo rooms set up for a little while longer. If there's something specific that you wanna see or anything that I left out or that you can't find in other videos, Comment down below or just send me an email at cleverleverage.com and go to the contact form. Send me a private message. Let me know what I can help you with and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day, guys.